Hey, it's Pastor Steve coming to you today with another Steve's Daily Blessing. Behind me, believe it or not, is a clean kitchen. It also reminded me if you, if you saw the um, if you saw the pile of dirty dishes from one of my recent Facebook postings that uh, <laughs> Sherry thought that was comical. Um, oh, I miss her so much. And I'm sitting here after a d d uh, exciting but disappointing loss of the Ravens to the Falcons, but haven't given up hope. And um, most importantly, that's why uh, we have hope in the Lord that we don't have to be discouraged when anything else around us, uh, we see any failings around us. So uh, I just wanted to read to you today my journal entry, and uh, I hope it is a blessing to you and a blessing also uh, to your marriage and, uh, and also in your life. I put November 12th, 2010. Sherry has been away from us for nine days. House and dog sitting for her parents. It has not been easy. When two hearts are so forged together as one, it makes it very hard when we are separated. I'm so grateful for my wife. So thankful for God's greatest gift to me. She inspires me. She motivates me. She empowers me. Where did she come from? How did you find her? Well, that's simple. God saw a need in my family, and he saw a beautiful lady searching for the perfect will of God in her life. A woman whose heart was crying out for more in this life. A woman of God who was determined to wait for the unfolding of his plan for her life. Little did she know what the Lord had in store. He spoke to her heart in the beginning of the year, revealing his purpose. I've created you to worship me. That is your purpose. At the same time, she was worshiping on the platform behind a man with a heart after God. He was gently playing his guitar and a lightning bolt of excitement came over her. She was instantly, supernaturally drawn to this man. When looking at his ring finger, she realized he was married. She quickly shunned the feelings. Later that evening, she encountered a ray of hope when she sat next to a lady facing in the direction of this guitar player. This lady whispered in her ear, You know that he just lost his wife last year and has four children. She couldn't believe what she was hearing but pondered it in her heart and held on to her hope with this guitar player. Well, that guitar player was me, and the Lord arranged her to meet with me that night. I didn't even know what was happening behind the scenes. But the Lord saw a need and was determined to bring the two of our hearts together. I am forever grateful for the provision of the Lord. So. Where did she come from? She came from the heart of God. How did I find her? I didn't. God did. He found her and arranged for me to be introduced to her five months later. And within two weeks of talking to her, I instantly fell in love with her. And within two weeks of talking to her, I asked her to marry me. Our spirits from the start were connected to each other. Our minds were in high gear trying to catch up with each other and our bodies fo followed closely behind. What an incredible journey. What a debt I owe to my Creator and what a love I have for His gift to me. I love you God and His Sherry. Amen. So I just wanted to read that journal entry and uh, also pray a blessing over you. Heavenly Father, I just pray for each marriage, Lord, that is even represented as they uh, listen to this daily blessing. I pray your blessing over their marriage. Strengthen them and uh, let them fulfill the call of God upon their lives. I pray for each single person who's waiting for that special person in their life, that you will give them the grace and you will give them the strength. And Lord, bless each one of us as we labor to serve you and we keep our hope uh, resting firmly in you. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen.
and bless the Ravens as they press on through the rest of this year. God bless you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.